Hello everyone, this is Abhay Sharma and welcome to another tutorial from thinkingpenguin.com. Today we are going to take a look at KD tree node in animation nodes. So let's go to the KD and BVH tree menu. According to Wikipedia, KD tree or K dimensional tree is a space partitioning data structure for organizing points in K dimensional space. Okay, so what does it mean? Well, let's say you want to eat chicken curry and you do not know the location of the restaurant. You pull out your mobile from your pocket and you ask Google Assistant or Siri guide me to the nearest Indian restaurant. Your digital assistant runs a KD tree or similar search algorithm in the background and finally finds the nearest restaurant in your area and guide you there. This is KD tree magic. It is a nearest neighbor search algorithm. That's all. BVH tree is also a search algorithm. We will talk about that in the next tutorial. One thing is common in both KD tree and BVH tree is you have to construct them first. Let's create all KD tree nodes first. To construct a KD tree, you need a list of vectors. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a particle system. So let's create a plane and assign a particle system. I'm going to make some minor changes to it. Now we will import the particle system into animation nodes. Go to particles menu and create particles from object node. Select the plane object. Then create another node filter particles. It is set to alive by default. So we are only working with those particles which are alive or visible in the viewport. Now if I create a particle list info node, I can access their positions with bunch of other attributes. So now we have vector locations. Let's construct a KD tree. To use a KD tree, we need to use one of the KD tree nodes. Let's grab find nearest point node. This node requires two input, a KD tree and a vector. We have KD tree but we need a vector to use it. This vector could be one of the member in KD tree or not. We can use an outside vector. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use this uh, cube location as our vector. I'm going to move this cube to the origin so that it's in the way of particles, which is not necessary by the way. Let's import the cube location in animation nodes and connect it. Now if I see the output of this node, it gives us a single vector location. This is the location of the nearest particle to the cube. Distance output gives you the distance between uh, two vectors and index will give you the vector index. Pretty straightforward. Let's add a sphere. Scale it down a little bit. Change the color or not, doesn't matter. We are going to position this object at nearest particle position so that we can visualize it. You can see what's happening. But it's jumping from one particle to another. Why? Because the particles are moving. So whichever particle is nearest to the cube, it will give us that particle positions and our sphere will jump on that. If I move the cube, it updates in real time. To make it look more interesting, let's add a spline object between cube and the sphere. Create a spline from points node. Now we need a vector list, so let's create it first. Grab the position of cube and the nearest particle and connect it to the spline node. Now we need a spline object output node. Activate the spline and create an output object. Spline is generated, let's select it and increase the width. Let's play the animation and let's have some fun. All right, let's test the another node. Find nearest points, which you have already guessed it, it gives you multiple vectors instead of single one. So let's delete all of these nodes. Connect it with our tree. One thing to notice here, it has one extra input called amount. 
which basically controls how many nearest particle locations you want. See the output, it has 5 vectors in a list. We can change the amount if we want. Let's create our spline from points node again. Let's create a spline object again. I'm going to use the already created object from previous spline output node. Activate the spline switch. In the viewport you can see we have a line. If I play the animation it starts creating different line shapes. Uh, let's change the amount and move the cube. You can see these particle positions are relative to cube's position. It sort of look like plexus more or less. So let's talk about the last node. Find points in radius. It is same as find nearest points except it finds nearest vectors in a specific radius. We are going to create a plexus like effect with this node. So until now we were using a vector outside KD tree. Now we are going to use vectors inside KD tree. Basically to achieve the look of plexus we need each vector of KD tree to act like a unique entity which means each vector will find vectors around it inside a specific radius. I'm going to delete the cube and sphere as well. We do not need them. So we need a KD tree and each member of the KD tree as unique entities. So let's loop through particle locations. I'm going to move the construct KD tree node in the loop and let's import the particle position as parameter. Let's create our spline from points node. Now let's generate a spline list. Finally we need a spline object output to generate the splines. Ok you have got sort of plexus looking effect. It's really dense. Let's turn down the radius value. And there you go. Play with the values and particle system to get the desired look. There are some other methods as well to achieve the same look like this uh, find close vertices from mesh menu. Let me show you how it works. Let's create a blank scene. Create a node tree from templates. Choose network from particles. Experiment with different modes. I'm going to stick with the default value. Now we need a particle system. So I'm just going to assign a particle system to the cube and select it as my particle object. Play the animation, create a mesh output object and that's it. Play with attributes and have fun. Alright guys if you like this video then please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share or comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.